All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, today is the off-season episode, which is going to be a little different than all the other ones. This one, we're going to go a deep dive into our uh, our recruiting, basically. And if you guys enjoy it, you know, we'll keep we'll keep showing more recruiting. It's up to you guys, though, whatever you want to see. But this is going to be more of a deep dive into recruiting as we have the transfer portal now open, as well as, you know, we got to sign the rest of our guys. So, I mean, if you remember, unfortunately, we did lose to Texas. Texas uh, Texas took us out. It was a great game. You know, I'm not upset at all. It just hurts losing uh, some of our guys. And you know, we're going to have the MAC Defensive Player and Offensive Player of the Week. And I guess the National Player of the Week. But, uh, but yeah, nobody else played. So we're going to have the Offensive and Defensive Player of the Week. But it is it is unfortunate the way we went out. But I'm proud of our team. We did get the two coaches that we wanted to get. Um, for some reason, it says he's got zero years left. I couldn't tell you why. But we're going to sim through. We'll check out what happens in the playoffs. Uh, trust me, we're not going to just completely go through it. But and, and not see who did what. But, oh my goodness. 62 to 60? That would be one heck of a playoff game. And you got uh, Texas was taken out by Oregon. But that is NC State and Oregon in the national championship. That's shocking. That's crazy, man. That's that's crazy. Um, but yeah, with that, we finished 10th ranked in the nation. The coach prestige went down somehow. Pro potential did go up. So, I mean, we're going we're gonna to see who, you're, who we got leaving. Uh, next week, evidently, and NC State beat Oregon in the national championship. NC State won it all. That's insane. The final top 25 has us at eight. I don't know. Oregon State wasn't in it, were they? I guess they were. USC is still fifth. That makes no sense. USC didn't make it out of the first round in their fifth. Whatever. I feel like we're a little disrespected ending at eight. But, uh, but yeah, and then Brent Cobb is out. Same with... Uh, Oh, it doesn't even show. It doesn't show. Mr. King, I forget his first name, but he is no longer with us either. Not in the way that he died, in the way that he left us. I believe he went to uh, he went to Akron to be head coach. So we're going to beat Akron next year. Now here's the sad part. Players leaving. This is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt. Um, so we're going to lose Bevelheimer. We're going to lose Colby Borders. Caldwell didn't play much. Cold Iron, we're going to miss him. Gabbert is the big one. That's going to hurt really bad. Uh, we'll sort by overall, actually. Salapak is leaving. Ty Wise is leaving. Holski. Oogwu. Oh, my gosh, man. This all hurts. And then Kenny Tracy is gone as well. Cade McDonald, we're losing him. Mosey. I mean, just a lot of guys that we're going to have to replace. We don't have anybody transferring out. Um, but yeah, that hurts. That really hurts seeing all of those guys gone after the just amazing seasons that they had. Um, it breaks my heart a little bit. It breaks my heart a little bit as we do upgrade to a new level now. But here's where things really get spiced up. We're going to do the transfer portal and off-season recruiting, but we're going to look at the draft results first. Salapak will go in the second round, Ty Wise in the fourth. Gabbert, I feel like, should have went in the seventh Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Gabbert should have went, but he didn't. That's all right. We have 900 hours now, so trust me. We're not skimping out here, but we are going to lose Alani Superstar, and that's okay. That's okay. We kind of knew it was going to happen. It hurts now seeing it happen, but, uh, I mean, we're going to put one last shot on him, and hopefully we can steal him away from Clemson, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Kansas is starting to catch up now with uh, – with Josh Toledo. So we got to we gotta lock him down as well. And the hard sell is going to be how we're going to do this. Hard sell is important. And then we're going to throw the, uh, the extra 10 on there. And we're going to throw the extra 10 on him as well. Hard sell is, is more geared, if you guys are new to recruiting, it's more geared to what these guys want. So he wants brand exposure, championship contender, and coach prestige. So you use a hard sell to really focus on those. Whereas 
you can't do that with uh, with some of the other, you know, sending the house. But what I do want to do is make sure that we have enough points to hit the transfer portal hard. Because we're high up on a lot of these guys' boards. We need a halfback. And uh, Darius Taylor, I'd love to get you. I really would. But that is for a little bit later. Mike Webb, we have a huge lead on. I am not worried in the least about getting him. So we're just going to put the 40 on him and uh, and go from there. So we put the hard sell on him. Uh, John Gay, I am kind of worried about losing. So we are going to have to continue to send the house on him. Pike, it's going to be interesting here. We're in a battle with, uh, with Western Kentucky. So that's interesting. We can't hard sell him yet since he isn't in his top five. And then Joe Tooney and Babineau are both guys that we will potentially look at. No offers. If they're gems, we'll look at them. If not, we're just going to move on to the transfer portal because we do kind of need to reload as Thune is going to be a gem. So Johnny Thune, Tooney, whatever it is, we're going to give you 50 points here. And uh, hopefully we can, we can bring him in. That would be the best thing possible. Also, we need to look at Pike. We fall into second on him. I'm an idiot. We, we just went through Pike. Now we're going to take a look at the transfer portal. And it's going to be interesting. We could go for Darius Taylor. And I think we are, actually. We could definitely beat out the top five guys on his board. Uh, and then same here. Western Mish is where they're looking. Dude, yes, yes. Top three, Ohio State and Cincy. We're not going to beat out Ohio State. I'm, I'm going to sit with that. We're going to wait. We're not going to go for him. Now, other guys like Eastern. We could go after Devin Eastern. Isaiah Brown Murray. I got him in a another. He was in the transfer portal for, for another one, and I didn't like him that much. I wasn't a huge fan. Aiden, we're going to look at as well. I don't know why Western Michigan is so high up on all of these guys' boards. It's interesting to me. It's really interesting. I don't get it. We're going to put Wagner on the board as well. So we have a lot of guys here that we're just going to go all out for. Wagner is interested in Ohio State, but they haven't offered him. So we're going to do that. I mean, just beefing up our O-line is going to be important. I'm going to make sure that we can get points on everybody before we scout them. And uh, Darius Taylor is the most important. So we're going to make sure that we get the points on him there. But we should be able to scout everybody with a little more as well. Uh, I'm not going to get anybody on a visit, although I could. I'm not going to quite yet because we don't know the interests that they do have. And now it's time to scout these guys out. Darius Taylor has 89 sp He would be amazing. I would love to get him. Keep Brunson as our two. And then, dude, Jagusaw, Jagusaw, whatever. He would be a dog. Whatever. Eastern is okay. He'd just be a solid addition. Aiden Laffrey would be awesome. Laffrey. We're going to call him Laffrey, I guess. I'm, I'm going to guess on his name. And we have room to put one more guy in here. Let's figure out what positions we need. All right, so what I'm going to be looking for are quarterbacks. I would love to get a transfer quarterback, uh, although it doesn't really look like anybody's out there. So maybe maybe there's no quarterbacks out there that really want to come to us, which is okay. But that is going to hurt. That's going to hurt a little bit because we're going to have to start next year somebody who's never played before uh, after losing Gabbert. And now we need a free safety and a strong safety. Coleman is out there. We could get Coleman from Ball State. And I think that's what we're going to try to do. He looks like our best bet there. We're also going to take a look at linebackers. We're first on Davis, second on... Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. We're gearing up here. I am going to go for an outside linebacker because we do need one to replace. <sighs> we got to replace Salapak. That hurts bad, but we have to replace Salapak. And um, is Tate our best option? I think he is. Although we we already have two outside linebackers. We need a middle linebacker, I think. We got DeLuca. Let's go look at uh, Odaluga, or I don't even know. Whatever. But it's going to be most important that we get... We're going after a strong safety already, so free safety is going to be our most important position. Jordan Coleman, we're going to need to take a look at very hard here. And uh, I shouldn't have scouted him. I should have just went in all for him there. 
but that's okay. We got a lot of guys that we're going after. We're using up all of our hours. Hopefully we can get a commit or two so that we're able to get some of these hours back, but I'm good with whatever we're able to do. I would love to get a commit though. And we can't, but we are in first on everybody's board. Everybody that we're going after, we're first on their board. That's great. That is great. Our overall went down drastically, but we haven't seen the off season, you know, upgrades moves yet. We're actually gaining on Alani. Clemson pulled the no shot. Clemson pulled their offer. Are you kidding me? We're going to get him. Clemson pulled their offer. For what reason? We're going to get Webb. We don't need to worry about that. This one's going to be a tight battle for uh, for Mr. Mr. Gay here. Um, say that in the most respectful way possible. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to stir up any... I'm not making any jokes. I'm not doing it. But Mr. Gay, we're going to give it to him. Uh, pause. Okay. Let's get everybody we possibly can on a visit. I guess we should do that after... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's make sure we get points on everybody. So, Coleman, we're up to first on his. That's awesome. That's what we needed. And that's the great thing about making it to the playoffs. Although we didn't make it far, we are going to have enough points that we can just flood these guys and get some really great players. Ultimately, it's going to work out well for us. It's going to work out really well. And we're going to have the points. I'm not going to scout them. Their positional needs, I'm good with that. We're not going to scout them. We're just going to go after them. And I'm going to do that with a quarterback as well. I feel like a quarterback is going to be important to go after. As um, the best one is Sawyer here. Sar, Garrett Sar. Do I slap points down on him? Or do I scout him first? I think we're going to just slap points down on him. And then we're going to worry about visits. And if, if these guys aren't good, they're not good. But let's get everybody that we possibly can in here as soon as possible. Webb, we don't need to worry about. We already went through that. Tooney, we're the only one who's offered. We're fighting for Taylor. That's going to be a big get for us. We need to make sure that we can get him. Uh, that's going to be big. So we are going to get him on a visit. We don't have enough hours for another visit. So let's scout a little bit. Let's scout. Sar, please be good, bro. Please. He's good. He's good. He might not be a gem, but he's good. He'll be a scrambling quarterback that we can use. He's good. We have five hours left. We can't spend that on anything. That's awesome. That is amazing. Let's get some commits, man. Let's get some commits. And we get one. Josh Toledo. Two. Mike Webb. Three. No. But we're first or second on everybody's board. And all of these guys are super gettable, I assume. I would 100% assume that. And we need to because these transfers are going to be what keep us good as we're probably not going to get Jaggy Saw. Somebody else found him. Michigan did. Of all teams, Michigan. We're going to get a free safety. We're going to get another strong safety. We're going to need to look at another middle linebacker, it seems. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's look at the guys that we are going to lose out on. So superstar, we're going to get. I don't know why Clemson stopped pushing for him, but we're going to get him. That's awesome. We're probably going to get Gay as well. John Gay will probably come to us. We can now switch to a hard sell, which which will be great for us. And uh, we just got to figure out what that would be. There's not enough combinations that it could be something else. So it's probably going to be football influencer. As yeah, there's nothing else that it could be. Football influencer it is. We're going to put more points on him because I don't want anybody to steal him, let alone Cincinnati. We're not letting Cincinnati steal him, even though they broke the rivalry. Of all these years, you break the rivalry. They were too afraid of Miami, but that doesn't mean that I'm still, you know, I'm still going to hate them. They still have that same hatred in my heart that they did before. As now, Tooney, let's get him on a visit. Uh, we, we can't yet. I take that back. Let's not get him on a visit. We're sending the house. Do we switch? Because he's... They're going to get him. Western Michigan's going to get him. Why? He's from Michigan. Fair. Okay. I take it back. Michigan is going to get Jaggy Sauce. Let's take him off the board. Uh, and Eastern is looking like he's going to go to to Iowa. I mean, let's, let's try to... Let's try to schedule a visit with him. And... Uh, 
I, I think if that doesn't work, we've got enough points. We can do that. Laffery. Why are they going for two running backs? Are you kidding me? Okay, man. Okay. They're going to take both of our guys. No. They're getting us back for beating the crap out of them in the MAC championship. And we can't lose him as well. This is... This started out going amazing, and all of a sudden, it is not going well at all. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we've got him. I don't need to worry about throwing extra on him. That's fine. We're good with him as well. He doesn't want to go anywhere else, so we're cool with that. We got 180 hours left. Let's make sure we use those wisely. Odaluga, are you kidding? Wisconsin comes in here? Wisconsin. Okay. Yukon? Are you... Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is going terrible. This is going terrible. Let's, uh... So, Jaggy saw his offer list now. Our right guard. He has no offers. Let's go after him. I, I, I don't care. He wants to go to... Why does everybody want to go to Western Michigan? What do they have that we don't have? We have everybody on visits that we can possibly get. So, I like that. Uh, Odaluga, are we going to still go after him, even though Wisconsin is? We are. We are. I think we can give him what he wants. So we're going to go after him. you got to take a chance with a few guys. We're going to take a chance with him. Especially with, I mean, a 74-speed middle linebacker. If we don't get him, I'm fine with that. I, I, that is not a great middle linebacker that I, that I look at it. But we still need him. It's going to be big for us to get him. And we're going to take a look at uh, some other middle linebackers if we possibly can get our hands on him. As he's got two offers. And this athlete, Jordan Ordinez, we'll take a look at. We got 35 hours left. I'm going to use it on scouting, 89 speed. Give it to him. Give him a contract. Not a contract, it's a scholarship. We're going to sim the week. We have nothing else that we can do. We got to get recruits here because this is starting to get down to crunch time. Alani Superstar, we finally get. We lose 50 points on him. And they got both running backs. You've got to be kidding me. All right, well, let's try to find another running back, I guess. We're in our last week here. Let's try to get another running back. Jordan Ordinez. I thought I put – oh, I offered him a scholarship. I didn't put points on him. So we'll put 50 on him. Henderson. Okay, hold on. Let's keep those guys on our board just in case. Just in case they decide, hey, we want to go to Miami. They can still come here. We got Kalu. And then there's Trevor Sanders, who has no offers. You've got to be kidding me. Trevor Sanders, with no offers. We're going to offer him. I don't even need to look at him. He's a four-star. We don't. He's 88 speed. Yeah, great, great. Please come here. I, I am begging you, man. I'm begging. Ordinez, we got 50 points on. Henderson, let's start getting guys on visits here. Henderson, we can get on a visit. We don't know exactly what he likes to hard sell him, so we can't do that quite yet. Sawyer, Sar, whatever. We can't schedule a visit on him, unfortunately. We're probably going to lose that on Sar. So let's look for a quarterback again. Let's look for a quarterback. All right, we found Garrison Browning. He's not terrible, but I would love to have Sar. It's unfortunate we probably will not get him. But, uh, I mean, let's just get everybody we possibly can on visits as we had not even scouted him, but he's actually pretty solid. Get him on a visit here. He likes playing time. Well, you're going to get a lot of it. Come on in, brother. Coleman, we don't need to do a visit with. He's going to commit to us. Odaluga is 50-50 right now. There's a chance we could get him with a hard sell. I think we possibly could. It's going to be interesting to take a look at. What is what he wants? That. There we go. So hard sell him. We'll put 10 more on him. Max him out there. Sar, we can't get on a visit, unfortunately. I feel like that's going to be the, the big difference maker is we can't get him on a visit. Pike is tight with Western Kentucky, but we can't do anything else. So that's fine. Yeah, we're in a good spot here. We're in a good spot. Did we get a running back? I think we did. Trevor Sanders, we did get a running back. And, I mean, now... Where are the, the top guys on our board we're just going to go after? We already have way too many centers. I take it back. Butker, if we could get a center or a punter, we need one because we just lost ours. I probably should have went for a punter before. Holy crap, his kick power is amazing. 
Julius Butker, please join the team. And that's going to be our last guy that we could go after. All right. This is it, man. This is it. We're going to get our commits here or on signing day. And we get Terry on Nichols. That's awesome. We get John Gay, another four-star. Jordan Coleman. Brandon Henderson. Keep them coming. Joe Tooney. And we lost Sar. We knew that was going to happen. We lost Ordinez, which is okay. He was really bad. We're going to go back and look at it. I don't know why we're doing this. Okay, but we lost Ordinez. We lost Devin Eastern, which is okay. We got a ton of defensive tackles. And then we lost Emil Wagner. That's tough. But it is what it is. We didn't need him anyways. We got another right tackle and John Gay, a better right tackle, may I add. And now we are at National Signing Day. Who else did we get? So we got all of these guys from before, obviously. There's Gay, Pike. Okay, so the big ones are here. We got all three of them. We got all three of them. You've got to be kidding. We got to be one of the top classes. I mean, like somewhat one of the top classes. We're not the best. 27. In our first season, we are 27. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. You know, we're going to need to do a little better next season, but... I like what we did so far. And now we change the positions on our players. So we're going to see the overalls here. Sanders is looking like he's probably going to be our running back. And he is. A solid running back, 72. A lot of these guys we might redshirt. We might, but uh, we'll go from there when the time comes. Okay, Niles Gentry is a 75. Same with Dalton Wiley. Can any of them switch to a guard? And be Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gentry, what do you look like? Let's switch him to a guard. He will be our starting guard. Uh, I think our left guard needs it the most. Let me let me check and make sure. But yeah, left guard needs it. Right guard is still a bit of a... It's a little troubled. But Dalton Wiley is our new left guard. That's awesome. We're going to have a lot of freshman starters on the offensive line. We're not going to be redshirting some guys. This is awesome. Right tackle needs some help. But another freshman. It's going to be great. Left end and right end need to be a little better. Unfortunately, we couldn't get great there. And, I mean, we still have a lot of Ani Superstar. Good for him, man. Stackhouse, would he be better at an end? He would be. Let's do it. He's not going to play much anyways, so let's move, him to a, let's move him to an end. Left outside linebacker is going to be a little rough. DeLuca is going to start. It's going to be really important, the progression that we get on these players. But I'm happy with what we've got going for us right now. I really am. Positionally, we should be fine. And Butker is a 67. We're going to be okay. We're really going to be okay. So we are going to sim again. We updated all the positions that we needed to. Now we get progression. This is where it is really important. Because our highest overall before progression is an 83. We can't have that. We really can't. And we're up to an 80 one overall we've gotten better training results this is important really important here so qb henry hessen quinn and escobar are all going to be in a battle that's crazy that's crazy man big battle there did i not switch somebody's position i thought we got a quarterback i thought we got a quarterback i might not have switched somebody's position we'll figure that out when it time time comes Brunson is up to an 80. Joshua Ringer will be our backup. No, he won't be. These are only upperclassmen. That's okay. Perry, the wide receiver room did not go up at all, unfortunately. That was what I was looking forward to, hopefully going up, but it didn't. Briggs has one up, so he's going to be a starting tight end. Jados is up to an 84. Decker is up to an 80. So maybe left guard didn't need the help. That's awesome. Center, we didn't need that. Roars, dude. Okay, right guard is going to be an issue, but we do have a, a uh, rookie starting there. Now, we've got some guys here at left end that could be good. Tremaine Spurlock at right end. That's awesome. Defensive tackle. Washington is up to an 81. This is going to be great. Outside linebackers up. Hondru is up a lot. Corbin Hondru might be a dog, man. Right outside linebacker is great. Unfortunately, our corners did not go up at all. That's going to be an issue. Same with our secondary, or same with our, our safeties. 
But, I mean, we're looking pretty good. We're up to an 80 overall. It's going to take time. It's going to take time to continue to get better. But we did a great job there. And now we have 40 coaching points as well to use going into next season. And uh, finally, we have, to, uh, we have to look at possibly encouraging some transfers, which we do. We've got to get rid of three or four, excuse me. So the first one is going to be Thomas Gutkowski. I'm sorry, but we got a lot of quarterbacks, and we just don't really need him. Uh, with he's just he's not that guy, unfortunately. Tight ends. We're going to get rid of Brian Shane. I'm sorry, but you're a 60 overall and you're a senior. You're not going to be used. It's just not worth it. All right, next one is Drew Terrell. We're just going to get rid of him. He's a junior. We don't really need anybody else at that position, so I'm kind of I'm good getting rid of him. Then finally, we are going to get rid of Eric Smith, who's a 64 junior. He's not going to play. And we've got a lot of freshmen who will probably come in starting over him. So there we go. We, uh, we got everybody to transfer out that we wanted to. And, you know, maybe in the future, Miami moves on and, uh, and heads to another conference. But what does need to happen, I want to make sure that they've done it, and they haven't. UMass is going to go to the Mac, which they are in real life, making it realistic. UMass is headed to the Mac. Now, I do think that UConn will probably follow them in the next couple of seasons. So we'll see. But for now, UMass is in the Mac. So we're putting them in the Mac starting the following season. So this is correct. If anybody wants to get technical, it is 100% correct here. Now, finally, we do need to set up our schedule. Uh, we're not going to touch recruiting. That will be next episode. I take that back. We're actually going to check it out. I'm not going, we're not going to recruit anybody, but I do want to see how high of guys that are looking at us. Yeah, th that is insane. After one great season, a lot of guys want to come here. All I'm going to say is, you know, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. The school is now up to three stars after one season. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, that's what you want to see. That's really what you want to see. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. We're going to have a great start to next season. And we do need to schedule these games correctly. So the first game of the season is correct. We are playing Wisconsin, followed up by Rutgers. Uh, you know, it should be... It should be, uh, unfortunately, sh should be Cincy. But Cincy decided to drop out, so we're no longer playing them the yearly. Uh, we got to make sure that we do have the correct schedule. UNLV is our next matchup. That is going to be a great matchup in real life. Uh, so we're going to add UNLV to uh, to the list, followed by Lindenwood. So we are playing an FCS school, which, you know, I've never played the Royals, I don't believe. I don't think I played the Royals. So we're going to play the FCS West Royals, and that I can't. From there on out, I cannot control the max schedule. I don't know what the max schedule is 100%, but those are our out-of-conference games that are correct. Let me make sure. I think we're at Rutgers. Yes, we are on the road at Rutgers, so I'm glad we made this change, and then we are home against UNLV at Jaeger Stadium. Now, the final thing I would like to show everybody is the preseason rankings. And as you're looking at it, you can't see all of it, so I'll show you all of it. Where are we at? Nowhere to be found. Liberty is ahead of us. Once again, the disrespect to Miami is growing continually, and we have to put that to an end. So next season is going to be a big one. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, you know, It's going to be coming up here in a few days. We'll see when it gets posted. I hope you guys come back. We've got a great team, and uh, it's going to be interesting playing with them, and we've got to prove everybody wrong once again. Hopefully this year we can at least get our first playoff win. I'm excited though. I'm really excited. Thank you guys for following all the way through season one, which we have finally ended now as we are in the preseason for next season. But thank you guys again. I am excited to start the next season. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a great rest of the day. Peace.